Hey everyone, Monday, April 3rd, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. So, it's been a great day so far, week's off to a good start, I'm ready for a good session. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to do some online classes, going to keep that kind of short because I'm a little behind, unfortunately. Then we're going to do some guitar work, then we're going to move forward on the production front. I started programming um, the MIDI for the horn sounds just in advance of buying a new library. I'll fill you guys in on that later. I'll try to explain as much as I can as we go. Here we go. Okay, just working through a couple bits and pieces there since I'm a little behind on the session plan. Um, but learning about MIDI program change messages, which are a type of MIDI message you can use to change the sound of whatever module you're controlling with the controller. So if you want to change from like a violin sound to a guitar sound or something, program change message will do that for you. And then um, just doing a little more Satch research, looking at some of the Amazon reviews of some of his more recent albums. And it's funny looking at those reviews because, uh, you know, looking at people talking about music who aren't professional music critics, even professional music critics, it's like, I'm going to give you my opinion on this, but it's like, <laughs> it's so subjective, you know. One man's trash is truly another man's treasure in music. It's, it's just funny. So anyway, um, I'm going to get into some guitar work now. Here we go. Good guitar and vocals practice there, just working on some power chord stuff, slowly speeding that up over time, and it's funny, that that works, <laughs> that really works. Um, starting slow with the metronome and just building up, I'm just going in 5 BPM increments, and it's funny how across last week I probably increased the speed by like 20 or 30 BPM. I'm sure I could have done that in a day if I was really committed to it, but um, it's just funny how those little tiny investments just add up over time. It's, uh, it's really powerful, man. So that, that principle, I think, cuts across many, many different disciplines, not just music. But um, yeah, so that was great. And then uh, did some reading. Now I'm going to jump in on the production front, move forward with these horn sounds and these MIDI parts, and just try to get some traction there, and then we're done. Alright guys, that was kind of fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so breaking new ground on the production front, thats I think that's really what feels good, is just taking steps forward is huge, guys. Whatever it takes. So what I started to do is program some MIDI tracks just with whatever the sample, the sample libraries that Logic has for trumpets and brass and saxophone and stuff. And I just started playing around with it to just kind of get familiar with it and just sort of visualize to myself how the sound might come through, especially for when I get better quality samples. Um, and I'm sure that I'm sure the samples are going to make a difference. I'm sure they will. But I think a lot of it is the programming. That's a lot of times it's the programming that makes those MIDI instruments sound so crappy because they're not play they're not playing with the phrasing and the rhythmic articulation that real people would play with. You know, it's like this very regimented grid-like quantized thing that just sounds really artificial. And I don't, it's funny how big of a difference getting the rhythms right really makes and the note lengths and all that stuff. And it's funny because we think about that being like this synthetic thing, which I mean, in the most technical sense it is, but um, like when I was working on the bass line for the song, like I would agonize over those note values and the note placement in the pocket and all that stuff. And that's why it took me like three weeks to track the freaking bass line, you know what I mean? It's like those tiny little nuances make a huge difference. 
and we spend tons and tons of reps, tons of different things trying to work it out, get it to sound right. How do I want it to sound? Okay, now try this. No, that's not quite it. This, this, this. It's funny how similar that is to, to programming the MIDI, and I think a lot of people, they just don't put that attention to detail in it. And so these synthetic horns just come out, instead of sounding really fresh, even if they sound synthetic, they, don't, they just don't pop with the track, you know? It's not in the groove. So um, that's like a, a big revelation. I had my, I had my uh, suspicions about that when I was doing the research, but it's, it's interesting to confirm it. And even though these sounds like, admittedly, you know, logic, you're awesome. I love you. I love everyone who works on Logic and programs it. Like you guys are just amazing humans, and I love you. Um, and I appreciate the work that you do so much, and I appreciate you as human beings, brothers and sisters. But at the same time, it's not the best stuff out on the market. We can all agree it's very synthesized. But it's amazing how much the rhythmic values make a difference. So anyway, and the mix, of course, all those things. But. Uh, but yeah, I uh, had a lot of fun just programming those trumpets and, and horns, and like they sound really like kid-like and toyish, but it's amazing how these little tiny adjustments start to get it dialed into the same groove and pocket, and it's amazing what a fine line it is between it sounding totally crappy and horrible, which is still funny <laughs> to me, and sounding like, wow, okay, like actually that's kind of in the pocket, like that's kind of believable. Um, so I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun with that. It, I don't know what's so, um, so enjoyable about it, but it's just, it's awesome. So I would encourage you guys to go out and program some horn lines this week. <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of the session. I hope you guys are out there having a great day. Uh, I didn't do super well on the timing of today's session. It ended on a good note, fortunately, but uh, I want to fix that for tomorrow. Just make sure I'm in the pocket, in the groove. I am making some adjustments in other parts of my life, so sometimes that does make it difficult to stay... I locked in on the music front, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen, whatever it takes. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Hope you're out there grinding towards your goals and enjoying the process as usual. Till tomorrow. <laughs>